Tesla's the billionaire Elon Musk has stunned the tech industry after he exposed Apple's corporation and its legendary smartphone iPhone. Is this the beginning of a great conflict between one of the richest men and the most valuable company in the world? Why the bad blood between the tech genius and the Cupertino-based company? Who will finally have the last word? Join me today in this video. 안녕하십니까. 예, 미래 포럼의 박영수 씨입니다. 박영수 씨의 미래 TV 오늘은 일론 머스크가 왜 어, 애플하고 어, 아이폰의 그 엑스포제 폭로를 시작했는지 알려 드리겠습니다. Elon Musk has dug deep into Apple Corporation and discovered some dark secrets that will totally destroy the iPhone During the darkest days of the Model 3 program, I reached out to Tim Cook to discuss the possibility of Apple acquiring Tesla for one-tenth of our current value. He refused to take the meeting. As reported by The Verge, an American technology news website operated by Vox Media, as CEO Elon Musk made a desperate decision of selling Tesla in 2018, given that the EV maker was staring at bankruptcy. Elon describes this time as production hell, a period when the car maker was ramping up the production of its Model 3 vehicle. 2018년, the car is now Tesla's bestseller, ahead of Model X and Model S, and seen as critical to Tesla's survival. Most sources to the condition that he should be the new CEO of the new company that was supposed to be formed after the merger of Tesla and Apple, a request that Tim Cook rejected. All in all, Tesla was lucky to survive the collapse and has achieved some significant mild. I mean, the seller of the house. Ah, this is a advertisement. Advertisement. The regions of milestones over time. In November 2021, Tesla became the first automaker to hit a market cap of one trillion dollars. This has cemented Tesla's position as one of the big names in the tech industry. You can now add the name Tesla to the big tech company names such as Google, Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, and of course Apple, which is the largest tech company with a market cap of $2.07 trillion by the beginning of this year. Ever since the death of Apple's founder and tech titan Steve Jobs in 2011, Elon has never been a fan of the iPhone maker. The revolutionary Tesla genius has publicly said that Apple's innovation seemed to have died with Steve Jobs. Many more people share the same views as Twitter is always populated with tweets saying, Why is Apple not innovative anymore? The Tesla founder has exposed Tim Cook and his team at Apple for trading magic for profit. In other words, the Apple engineers are no longer concerned with the quality of the iPhones and other Apple products, but are just greedy after the money. If you think these allegations against Apple are far-fetched, you are probably wrong. Elon Musk has personally been a victim of Apple's incompetency. While attending the Satellite 2020 conference where he was discussing the role that software will play in the future, Musk exposed the troubles of the iPhone software saying, What I was referring to is that the technology does not automatically improve. People are used to the phone being better every year. I'm an iPhone user, but I think some of the recent software updates have been not great. Certainly feeding into that point. It like broke my email system, which is quite fundamental. Elon's example represents millions of people who are having some hard times with the iPhone software. A good example when Apple's iOS 13 software was updated, it had several bugs and glitches. Other users complained about a number of issues touching on features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even the screen keyboard. For the better part of last year, the Tesla founder and Apple have been embroiled in a bitter war, prompting Elon to expose the Cupertino-based company. Over their exploitative pricing model, as seen mm. in a tweet that reads, App Store fees are obviously too high due to the iOS and Android duopoly. It is a hidden 30% tax on the internet. In this case, Musk is referring to the 30% fees that Apple and Google charge companies like Twitter for purchases made inside their apps. The Tesla tycoon strongly believes that Apple should be client-friendly and charge not more than 3% for any purchases made. As you would expect, Elon's attack on Apple has not been received kindly by some of the senior staff at Apple. Phil Schiller, a current Apple fellow who has served as a leading market executive for over three decades, has responded to Musk's attack on Apple by deactivating his Twitter account that had over 200,000 followers. 
Despite Schiller's exit from Twitter, Apple CEO Tim Cook is still on the platform, as are Apple's corporate accounts. Nonetheless, Apple has reacted to Musk's expose by pausing their advertisements on Twitter, as seen in a tweet that reads, Apple has mostly stopped advertising on Twitter. Do they hate free speech in America? As a social media site, Twitter gets most of its revenue from advertising. Apple's move of stopping their adverts on Twitter is aimed at frustrating Elon Musk. Other companies such as Pfizer, an American multinational pharmaceutical and biotechnology company, Volkswagen, German automaker, and Mandela's International Incorporated, which is an American food and beverage company, have all stopped advertising on Twitter. Musk believes that the Twitter boycotts have everything to do with his stance on free speech, where he strongly believes that people should be free to say whatever they want without the fear of censorship. As soon as Musk bought Twitter, he did not shy away from demonstrating his stance on free speech by reversing the bans of some of the prominent personalities on Twitter, such as ex-US President Donald Trump, American internet celebrity Andrew Tate, and the American rapper Kanye West. Apple Incorporation is one of the leading tech companies that is not happy with Musk's reforms in Twitter and has threatened to kick the social media app from the App Store, as seen in Musk's tweet that reads, Apple has also threatened to withhold Twitter from its App Store, but won't tell us why. Another tech giant, Google, has weighed in on the debate and also threatened to de-platform Twitter from the Play Store. If both Apple and Google finally decide to ban Twitter in their App Store and Play Store, this would simply mean the end of Twitter. It would be a big blow to Elon's microblogging platform. Does this mean that Musk should now give in, or does he have an option? One of Musk's fans, Liz Wheeler, who is an American conservative political commentator, author, and podcast host, seemed to have a pretty good solution, which she suggested to Elon in a tweet that reads, If Apple and Google boot Twitter from their app stores, Elon Musk should produce his own smartphone. Half the country would happily ditch their biased snooping iPhone and Android. The man builds rockets to Mars. A silly little smartphone should be easy, right? Just three hours after Wheeler's tweet, Musk gave an answer that will certainly increase the rivalry between Tesla and Apple. Musk's response via Twitter said this, I certainly hope it does not come to that. But yes, if there is no other choice, I will make an alternative phone. Yes, you got it right. Elon so, Musk will have no other option but to launch the revolutionary Tesla model Pi phone, which will destroy all competition in the smartphone industry. In fact, close sources to Tesla reveal that there is already a team in place that is working on this amazing gadget. And guess what? Former Apple designer Antonio De Rosa is the man behind the project. You can be sure that with the help of Elon Musk, the talented designer will come up with an amazing smartphone. Although most of the features of the Model Pi phone are a deep secret, we can now confirm that it is embedded with solar panels that give it a solar charging ability. According to the leaked specs of the Tesla phone, it is superior to the latest iPhone in all aspects, ranging from camera quality, storage, battery capacity, and general beauty. In fact, it will be the first satellite phone which will be using the Starlink satellite internet. Many financial analysts argue that Tesla is likely to suppress Apple's value after launching their smartphone. The Austin-based company is also expected to make lots of money when they start selling the Tesla humanoid robot, which is popularly known as Optimus. After Tesla invaded Apple's smartphone market, the Cupertino-based company has also hit back in a similar fashion. Apple has also brought the EV war to Tesla's doorstep, and Elon Musk is fully aware of their plans. Musk made the revelations when he did an interview with the BBC, where he said, It's pretty hard to hide anything if you hire over 1,000 engineers to do it. For a long time, the manufacture of the iCar was done as a secret under I the name car, Project Titan. Go, hmm, Tim Cook's so. main goal is to make uh, not Tim just a fully electric, but, but also a fully so autonomous car. car. Given Apple's rich experience in software, they uh, have what it takes to make an amazing self-driving car. But the problem is that they are taking too long to start and may enter the EV market when it's too late. On the other hand, Elon's Tesla has already covered sufficient ground. By the end of 2022, Tesla had sold more than 3 million cars around the world. Moreover, the EV maker is testing their autopilot feature, which is the technology behind the self-driving vehicles. 
In this video, we've made it clear that the war between Tesla and Apple is gaining Tesla some serious momentum. Only time will tell which tech heavyweight will have the last laugh. 그렇죠? It is an Apple versus Tesla, but at a closer look, it is an Elon versus Tim Cook war. We can only expect more drama between the two tech titans. Do you think Elon Musk is doing any good by exposing the predatory behavior of Apple and the failure of the iPhone? Feel free to share your views in the comment section below. Anyway, guys if you want to see more interesting videos click the video right above 네. 자 여기까지 UN 미래 포럼의 박영숙이었습니다. 박영숙의 미래 TV 구독 부탁해요. 감사합니다.